Greetings Outlanders, Get Shiver here again, and today I've got something a little special for you. Since we do have Valentine's Day coming up, it's that time of year, we are going to be doing Morrowind's Girlfriend Quest. But we have started a new game with a Khajiit, a little bit of a different Khajiit than, uh, than what you may be used to. This is Darkrin. He is a Daji Rot Khajiit from the Tamriel Rebuilt races, though these Khajiit are actually from the Tenmar Forest, where they live in the trees. You can't really tell super well right here, but he's a lot shorter than most Khajiit, but that's not going to be a problem for what we're doing today. We're here in Pelagiad to meet a very special someone. There's a certain Khajiit in the Halfway Tavern that if you happen to be male and you happen to be personable enough to have a disposition over 50, then uh, she will be very interested in you. Let's go ahead and go meet her. She's just right back at the uh, the back of the bar here. You hail, friend. Musera indeed. This is a Nasi. And she is going to be our girlfriend. She likes our smooth moves. When a Nasi sees smooth moves like this, a Nasi thinks a dancer, no? A high wall walker. If you aren't in the Thieves Guild suite, perhaps you should be. Well, we are in the Thieves Guild, but that's neither here nor there. Uh, show her your smooth moves. Hmm, how can Anasi not see? Must she be blind? She sees you walk, and she likes what she sees. It is her profession to see such things as the flow of the body and the grace of the eye, and admire. What Khajiit can see what she wants and not take it? Could Anasi ask for gift? Don't say no to Anasi. Must Anasi be the thief? Must she steal this thing? This dark Rin fellow she wants? Or will he give himself as a gift? Oh, well, that's a, that's a little intense, but okay, yeah, sure. Give Anasi the gift of friendship. Please forgive Anasi if she purrs like a kitten, but Anasi is so pleased. You will come visit Anasi often then, and tell her things, and ask her things too. For we are now friends, yes? Anasi such secrets knows. She almost bursts, like Anasi must tell her new friend that Hortus upstairs. Such a secret, I know. Anasi tells you. Anasi trusts you. Anasi is a thief. You do not mind? Why? Because Anasi loves secret things. She loves secrets, and when she finds them, she loves to have them. Like this strange Hortus upstairs. Hortus has a secret Anasi can see. So Anasi follows Hortus, and this is how Anasi knows Hortus serves Mayrun's Dagon. This magic belt Hortus has. Such a pretty belt, but strange writings and strange letters. Maybe evil, maybe danger. Maybe good, maybe shit. So we've got our first of Anasi's quest here. We need to go upstairs and take down Hortus. Now, if you've watched some of my other stuff, you know that we've done this a couple of times, so we're not going to focus on it uh, too terribly much, but we'll run through it real quick. You should definitely bring some uh, some restore strength because Hortus has a tendency to summon bone walkers and cast burden. If you don't have any restore strength, then you can just come over to the bar and buy some Sujama. And that'll give you enough strength boost to get to the shrine afterwards if you get stuck. But Hortus can be found upstairs, right behind this reinforced door in the corner. Now, if you try to talk to her, then she actually is not going to speak to you and tell you to go away. We know how to deal with this. We've been here before. The solution is take off all of your clothes and talk to her again. After all, who can resist the wiles of a fully naked... Khajiit. The body models on this are, uh, are interesting. But anyway, now we can uh, we can talk to Hortus. Cover yourself. Are you mad? Have you no decency? None whatsoever. And then we just go to Persuade, and we're gonna sit here and taunt her. Oh, well, it didn't take her very long to get sick of us. We want to very quickly get back into our menu and put our clothes back on. Hortus will probably try to trap us in place, so I will definitely be using my marksman here and you want to just make sure you're using arrows or bolts that damage only her and don't send like a cloud of damage out because 20 feet is more than enough to hit everybody downstairs and uh really piss them off so we don't want to do that we just want to go ahead and exit the menu and quick save oh god and see that's what i'm talking about come on there we go yeah see we're stuck we're stuck in spot Wow, we actually managed to get all the way to the end there without actually getting hit for damage, so that was pretty nice. But as you can see, we currently have a strength of zero and an endurance of zero. So at the very least, we can use our restore strength. We're going to have to take a few of them. Yeah, the good thing is with Sujama, you only have to take one. All right, that'll be enough to get us down. I'm going to go ahead and take everything. And then we need to get over to the Imperial Shrine in the fortress. 
Easiest way to do that is going to be to just cast Divine Intervention, and that should drop you right in front of it. We just want to go in and head back to the back corner on the right, and there we'll find the Imperial Shrine. We make our donation of 25 gold and get restore attribute and that's going to put everything back up to where it's supposed to be all right and back in the bar we can go talk to anasi again let her know the good news about horridus here this is a little nothing that anasi finds a tasty treat and handy a quality potion of feather that would have uh, probably come in handy a few minutes ago and if we share a care forgive anasi anasi is so ashamed to ask her new friend to share such a care but anasi is afraid very afraid this dustman, bad person, he frightens Anasi. He comes, tells Anasi there is no more thieves guild. There is just Kamonatong, and Anasi will join Kamonatong and be protected. Otherwise, unless Anasi is protected, Anasi might get hurt. This dustman, he talks quiet but very mean. Anasi is so sorry, sorry to trouble her new friend, but Anasi is scared. It's okay, Anasi, we'll take care of the bad person for you. You're too kind, Darkrin. Anasi knows she places great burdens on new friend. No worse than, uh, Rordis did. But Anasi cannot fight, cannot shed blood. She has sworn such an oath. Anasi tries to be good, but Anasi thinks now she's in great danger. This bad person, Dren Adrin, a dark elf. He is Kimona Tong Bigwig and Gnar Mok. He is found at Nadine Rothrin's shack. Anasi is so ashamed that she asks a life, a very great gift, from her new friend but Anasi has no one else. Well, it's very odd that the Kimono Tong would be asking a Khajiit to join, but that's neither here nor there. If we uh, make our way out to Ganar Mok, and then we make our way up to the western end of town, we'll find this shack right here, and this is Nadine Rotherin's shack. Definitely want to save before we go in. And this Dunmer right here is the one we're looking for, Darren Advin. Now, unfortunately, there are also three other Tong members in here. But if we're fast Tiny, enough, we won't have to deal with them. Regret it. Oh, see, he's kind of onto us already, but that's okay. You can talk to him. He'll tell you to go away. You can ask him about Anasi. Never heard of her. And none of your business if I did. So blow like smoke, or I'll spill you like a baby's cup. You must be hard of hearing, and soon you'll be hard of breathing. Oh, well, I guess that means we're, uh, we're getting killed, or we're developing asthma one or the other and we'll quick save of course and we'll start shooting now come up blasting y'all chill out i'm blasting oh we got him hurry up and fall so i can take your stuff yeah if you can raid his corpse he's got a demon tonto there so that's always nice and we'll take some uh restore health here while we try to escape there we go thankfully they can't follow us through doors all right now we just need to head back to plagiad and once we're back we can go talk to anasi now, if you did manage to get a, uh, a bounty, if you did manage to get a bounty in the last uh, quest, the Nasi will clear that for you. But I did it without getting a bounty, so we're good. Share a care. Anasi is safe. This bad person is no more. If you get a price on your head for helping Anasi, Anasi calls in all her favors, gets this fixed, promise. Anasi thanks you with her hands, her lips, and her heart. You're not just a new friend, dark friend. You're a good friend and a true friend. Now Anasi can share a gift, a special gift she has found for her true and good friend. Look what Anasi has found. Isn't it pretty? And it is just your size. You look so fine. Anasi is proud to have such a fine looking friend. And look, what a surprise. Inside these clothes, what do I find but a book? A very special book. A book Anasi knows her friend will like. And Anasi has a new secret to share with her true and good friend. Guess what Anasi hears? Veldos Derlor, you know this name? The biggest, fattest factor of Redoran. Guess who has a very special key to a very special chest in the Redoran treasury at the Redoran compound in Vivek? Ken. What's a hoe? You guess Beldros Dralor, but you do not guess where he keeps this key. It is so silly, you won't believe. In his wife's clothes chest, in his manor on top theater. What do you think? Is this not a fine gift that Nasi shares? Oh, that is a pretty fine gift. And we also get extravagant clothing and 36 lessons of Vec. Sermon 30, which should give us a skill boost. Yeah, and brings our short blade up by one. We'll put on uh, uh, the new clothes here that Anasi has brought us. I guess the pants are about the same, but we got a new shirt at least. And look at that. Now we're uh, very well dressed. I think Anasi likes what she sees. All right, and also the uh, the belt that we picked up, since I didn't show you that a minute ago. The belt of sanguine fleekness. 
The Belt of Sanguine Fleet. This is one of Mafala's 26 artifacts of the web spinner. This one gives you a constant five points of fortify athletics. So that's very helpful. All right. And now we just need to head down to Vivek. And once we've arrived in Vivek's Redoran Plaza, we need to find the manor. And you'll find Drillor Manor right on the northern side of the the plaza. Once we're inside, we need to make our way over to the left. Don't worry about these guards. They aren't going to give us any trouble. Up here, though, this would be uh, Mrs. Drellor, and it is her drawers that we have to go rummaging through. Uh, makes it a little more complicated that she's standing right there, but just in case your sneak isn't up to where it needs to be, I do have some, uh, some tools to help us out here. The Amulet of Shadows will give us a total chameleon, and then we can just go in and take the key from her dresser, and she's none the wiser. And then once we have the key, we need to head across to the Redoran Treasury, which would be this large building in the southwest corner. All right, now that we're in here, we can head down the stairs, and we want to go all the way down. Now, as you can see, there are a lot of people down here, but since we have the key, we can just walk into this area. We can close the door behind us. It, uh, it doesn't matter too much. Now you That's see there's lots of good stuff laying around. Outlander. But there's also a, an ordinator right here. Simple enough. Just go ahead and wait, and he's gone. And they won't come back in, so that's pretty solid. Now, a lot of this stuff is way too heavy for me to carry, and isn't stuff that this character is really going to use much anyway. I will take the ebony short sword. And uh, also, if you have the Lefem armor plugin installed from Bethesda, you'll have gold armor over here, which is pretty cool. I don't think I've ever actually picked any up. Granted, these are generally made for female characters. We can't wear the, the closed face helm, unfortunately. But just so you can see it. Yeah, as you can see, they are definitely supposed to be female armors. Maybe that's supposed to be a face. I don't know. We're just, uh, we're gonna go back to our regular Dark Brotherhood armor. How about that? And the gold armor is fairly heavy, so we don't want to be taking too much stuff. But let's take all this gold up here. As you can see, it's not marked stolen. Because we were able to get in here without any problem. Now these two chests, you can just open directly with that key. And we got some diamonds up here. There are several locked chests around, so we will need to do something with those. But if you come check these crates, you get a random assortment of three pieces of glass armor. And I'm going to set down the gold armor. Because I can't use it anyway, and I need the carry weight. Alright, and I'll keep the glass helm, glass greaves, I don't really need the shield. And we'll take a Dwemer coin, that's fine. Alright, let's see about these chests. Break out our lockpick. Ah, first try, how about that? Alright, so that's 900 gold. Let's try this one back here. Okay, we've got 360 gold, we've got some gems, and Dwemer Warhammer, if anybody's interested in that. In this one, we've got a Dwarven Short Sword, more gems. Definitely clean up on the gems here. And this chest. Alright, we've got two random ebony weapons. I'm gonna set those down here. We've got an ebony staff and a long sword. And more gems, 500 gold. And then, of course, if you come over here, there are some named things. We've got Faux Burner. We've also got the Heartwall Curus and Storm Helm. We got a glass war axe up here and the closed faced ebony helm. So heavy armor, medium armor, even some light armor with the glass right there. It's always a good stopover point. Oh, looks like they want to come back in. Here. Did I get a bounty somewhere along the way? No, no, no. They're just, uh, there we go. Yeah, the good thing is even though that's a, uh, a door with holes in it, they can't see through there. There is another section of the treasury, but the key that we picked up does not open this vault, and I don't think I can bust a level 90 right now, so we're gonna have to leave that one off for the moment. But now that we've raided the treasury, we can go let Anasi know that we were successful. I yes, my true and good friend. Anasi always has things to share with her true and good friend. These things are not always happy, not always good, but true and good friends share everything, good and bad, yes? So still, we share a gift and share a care, yes? If we talk about sharing a care, after you are so good to Anasi, Anasi is ashamed to ask, and Anasi feels strange telling her good friend this thing. But Anasi has a mate. You what? Once Anasi loves him very much, but now this mate is a slave to Skuma. Anasi no longer loves him, but once one has been in your blood, there is shared blood forever. Anasi begs him to abandon the skooma, but he will not. Anasi knows not what to do. Can you help Anasi? Can you persuade this foolish mate to give up his skooma? I don't know, but I will try. 
Anasi understands all too well. Anasi has tried and failed. Curious Guma Attic? It can't be done. But Anasi sees something in her true and good friend. Something that says that the things that can't be done might be done. And it gives Anasi hope. Anasi's mate is called Jadanar. And he lives where he can in St. Ohm's Canton. Please find him and persuade him to give up the sugar. Don't worry Anasi, we'll do our best. Alright, so it's back to Vivek. This time to St. Ohm's Canton Canal Works. Alright, and once we've made it to the St. Holmes Canal Works, Jadanar will uh, we'll have something for us to do. Ha! You call yourself a friend of Anasi. Then Jadanar curses you, and Jadanar curses the faithless mate. Anasi calls me a coward and a fool, this one who is her husband, and whom she must respect. And she leaves me to beg and starve. She is the fool, and you are a fool too. There is no cure for the skooma addict. All the world knows this. No one knows Jadanar's shame better than Jadanar. But Jadanar is helpless. What can Jadanar do? Nothing but beg and starve and cry and die. Well, you can see he is not very convinced that we're going to be able to help him out. But I happen to know another Khajiit here in Vivek that just might have something that would help us out. So let's make our way over to the foreign quarter and go see Jabasha. Alright, we've made it over to Jabasha's rare book. He has the finest selection of books you available. To speak. We'll talk to him about curing skooma addict. Khajiit knows there is no cure for the skooma addict. And maybe Khajiit knows things that are not true. You should read Confessions of a Dunmer Skuma Eater. Jabasha should have a copy for sale in good condition. Very reasonable. All right, Khajiit, give me your wares and I'll give you my coin. There we are. Confessions of a Skuma Eater. 25 gold. 28 gold? You're ripping me off. Come on, man. 25. Oh my god. Okay, fine. Fine. I'll give you your 28. You can make 3 gold off me. But this is a robbery. Oh, while you're here, if you haven't done this, anytime you're, you're coming through here for the first time, stop and re... Oh, did I just steal that? You're stealing right to jail. Oops. I didn't mean to steal that. Oh, well. <laughs> yeah, just read each one of the, the Dance in the Fire books. They're all skill books. And then we'll make our way back over to the St. Holmes Canal Works and go see Jadanar again. All right, Jadanar. I got I got a I got a book for you. Cure schematic. Jadanar does not understand. What good is a book? I do not want this book. But Jadanar can see you have a good heart. Jadanar is sorry for what he says. Jadanar will take the book and will read it. And you, return to Anasi and tell her Jadanar is very sorry. And Jadanar forgives her. And Jadanar will always have Anasi in his heart. But our bond is broken now, for better or worse. And we must each find our own way from this cold time and hard place. Alright, well we have done a good deed. Hopefully Jadanar gets his life together. And, uh, we can go tell Anasi the good news. Alright, Anasi, I went and saw Jadanar. Ah, it is Anasi's true and good friend, Dark Friend. A friend tells Anasi that Jadanar has left the Vek to return to elsewhere. She says that he looks well, and that he has stopped using sugar. Anasi is not sorry that she is free of her bond with Jadanar. But Anasi is very happy that it seems to be better. Anasi is very grateful to her very special friend. And Anasi hopes that her very special friend will come visit her at Anasi's house here in Pelagia. We mustn't keep meeting here in this old corner club. At Anasi's house, Anasi can show her very special friend some good old-fashioned Khajiit hospitality. In this house here in Pelagia, across the street from the halfway, by the fort wall, off the street, with the stone fence nearby. Here, you'll need the key if you come by the halfway again, and I'm not here. I'll be at the house. Alright. It kind of broke the cadence there having a Khajiit use personal pronouns but okay we'll go with that so now we uh we can say goodbye to the halfway tavern we don't have to come hang out with these losers anymore oh he heard me i wasn't talking about you we just head right across the street here and this is the nazi's house which is uh now also our house and look at that a nazi's home May you walk she beat us here ah uh, it is a nazi's very special friend dark rin Anasi welcomes you to the hospitality of her house. You are always welcome here, my very special friend. Anasi's house is Dark Ren's house. Take what you need, give what you can. What Anasi has is yours. There should be plenty of food and drink downstairs, and a comfortable bed. You want the robe from Anasi's shoulders? All you need to do is ask.
Oh, that won't be necessary, Anasi. Thank you. Anasi sees how her very good friend is always doing, always learning new tricks. So Anasi must tell you a secret. Anasi has a friend, Zinindi, a nice red garb female who trains fighters at the arena in Vivek. And the secret Anasi tells is that Zinindi is a secret master of the guild discipline called acrobatic. Do you know what that means? That means there is no one else on Vardenfell who is so fine an acrobat as Sinedi, and no one else can train you so well. So go, see Sinedi, and tell her Anasi sends you. Sinedi is Anasi's friend, and I know that she would be happy to see you. Alright, now she doesn't really, uh, specify exactly where this friend of hers is. You'll need to make your way out to the arena in Vivek, so let's head there now. All right, and once we've made it to the Arena Waste Works, we need to find the Arena Fighters Quarters, and it's not that guy. But if we follow the hallway on around into the other rooms, we'll find a Red Guard woman. Sinade, I assume is how you pronounce that. Okay, Sinade. Yes, Darkrin, my friend Anasi has told me about you. Any friend of Anasi is a friend of mine. Uh, we talked to her about Anasi, and you see her disposition shoots all the way up to 100. So Anasi sent you to me because she thinks you might be eager to learn some of the things I know. That's so like Anasi thinking of others, and always scheming, always scamming. Bless her furry little paws. Am I a joke to you? But yes, I think I might teach you something if you wish. It always gives me pleasure to help Anasi's little schemes. For a start, maybe you'll find reading this book interesting. And she gives us the Black Arrow Volume 1, which is a skill book for acrobatics. Here we are. Yeah, that boosts our acrobatics up by one. And also, of course, she is a trainer, so you can always talk to her and get master level acrobatics training, which is uh, not an easy thing to find. Now, before we head straight back to Pelagia, there is a stop we need to make along the way that will make the next mission a little bit faster. Joyce. So go ahead and head back out. Oh. Oh, there's a door right there. Well, how about that? I'll be damned. Anyway, we want to make our way up to Satanine. Not necessarily Satanine itself, but the area around Satanine. We just need to find a coda flower in the swamp. And once we've made it out into the Bitter Coast, we just need to find any swamp that has a has a coda flower, which you'll find on the Draggle Tales. And we want to take that coda flower and make our way up towards Plagiad, like we're heading back to see Anasi. But we have one more stop to make before we get there. All right, and once we've made it back to the Plagiad area, we just need to keep our eyes out for any gold canet flowers. So coda flower and gold canet. That'll save us a trip here in just a moment. So now that we have our flowers, let's return to Anasi. Now it is your turn to give Anasi a gift, and Anasi knows just what she wants. Flowers. Of course, a special friend knows just what flowers to get, so Anasi will tell you, just two, one for you and one for me. A pretty coda flower for Anasi, and a pretty gold canet for Darakrin. Anasi can't wait to get her pretty flowers. Alright, so we'll ask her about a gift again. I love my pretty coda flower, and I love your pretty gold canet too. So you keep the gold canet, yes? And treasure it always. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And now, you can ask Anasi to share a gift again. For it is Anasi's turn. Isn't this fun? Anasi has a secret. Do you know what the flame mirror robe is? Well, Anasi does not, but she knows it is very valuable. And a friend has told Anasi where it is. In the Telvani Tower in Vivek, at the Telvani compound. This wizard, Marion Drenim, he does not wear it. So he keeps it in his clothes closet. Because you are so smart, Anasi knows you will get this flame mirror robe and bring it to show Anasi how smart you are. Alright, well Anasi is sending us back to Vivek, this time to the Telvani Tower. So we're just uh, ripping off all the houses today. Okay, and once we've made our way out to the Telvani Plaza in Vivek, we just need to head to the southwest corner and the Telvani Tower. Once we're in, we're gonna go to the left. That's not too much trouble, you're just in the way. Alright, and we need need to head upstairs so we go into the core go around let's get this over with quickly that's what i'm trying to do and we'll head upstairs and here's our buddy right here maven drenim now maven is not wearing his flame mirror robe of course that's actually right back here in the closet and thankfully everybody's facing that way so we may be able to get away with this i'm gonna try i'm not even gonna risk it we're just gonna go ahead and cast our chameleon and we'll open this up and there's a flame mirror robe. Look at that. We'll just, uh, we'll just take all there. How about that? And then we can return to Anasi. Or, you know, see if there's anything else to raid around here. If... Oh, God. They saw me. 
Well, I probably won't be welcome in the Telvani Tower for a while, but at least we got a new robe, and we got a Nasi a new robe, too. Is yours, friend. Oh, she puts share her sugar. Oh, it's a Nasi's very special friend, Darkrin. Yes, it is. Oh, look, a flame mirror robe. How clever you are. But we both knew that, did we not? And my goodness, such enchantments. And very, very pretty. Now, you can choose to uh, keep the gift, telling her thanks for the tip. At which point, your uh, your quest line is over, but you guys are still friends. You can, however, give Venasi the robe as a gift. But I do want to warn you that if you do give her the robe, after the next quest, the quest line will stay open. Apparently due to a bug. But I like to think of it more because friendship is forever. So I'm going to give her the robe. Oh, but it's too much. For Anasi? It is so lovely, but you must let Anasi give you a gift in return. What could possibly be so rare, so fine? Here, Anasi gives you these. They are rare and precious. Anasi could never use them, but Anasi hopes they bring you luck in a hard place. And we get 20 rare ebony throwing stars. So that's a really nice, uh, nice weapon to have. You definitely don't want to use them unless your marksman's really high because they're super expensive. But you can sell them too. Now if we talk to her one more time. Have you heard of Eluvul's black blindfold? A magic glove which blinds and befuddles archers. Anasi knows nothing about magic. But she has heard that this is a wonderful glove. Very beautiful. Very valuable but so sad. It is in Rufinus and Laeus' chest of drawers in the living quarters of the Imperial Commission in Ebenhard. Many Imperial guards. Very tough. Very dangerous. So sad. But so glad. Guess what? There is a secret passage hidden underwater to sneak into the Imperial Commission, and all you have to do is search for the hidden underwater entrance. It must be nearby. Too easy. And of course, the one that Anasi's referring to, you may recall from our uh, Lord's Mail video, is the uh, the cave underneath the castle. But the, there's really not a lot of need to go that way because nobody's gonna gonna stop you going into the Imperial Commission. So let's just get down to Ebenhart and I'll show you. All right, once we've made it to Ebenhart, we need to head to the uh, ground can ground cancel. Grand Council Chambers okay. and head over to the right and we'll find the door to the Imperial Commission. Now once we're in here, we need to take the stairs at the back and go all the way down. Now in this room, you'll see two guards. They don't really do very much. This is the door that we need to go to. Alright, mm. so what we're gonna do, we're gonna cast our Amulet of Shadows so we've got good chameleon and then it's just gonna be a matter of unlocking this door. Simple as. And then we just uh, close the door behind us so they don't see anything. We can come over to this chest of drawers. And inside, the first thing we'll see is Elvul's Black Blindfold. And that casts 20 points of blind on a target for 60 seconds. And also damages their marksman for 20 points. Now, that is a damage enchantment. So that is permanent. So make sure you don't cast it on anybody you uh, you like. At least not if they use marksmen. And I guess while we're here, I'll take the uh, take the gold too. Why not? It's simple as that. Now let's head back to Anasi. All right, and once we're back, we can uh, share a gift with Anasi. Yes, I see. Very clever is Anasi's friend. And a very fine glove is Elvul's black blindfold. Anasi likes the glove very much. But it is Anasi's gift to her friend. And her friend must keep it. Anasi is very happy that we have shared so many gifts. But that is what friends are for, yes? Yes, my very special friend. Anasi hopes we will always have things to share. Share a gift, share a care? Yes, close friends, very close. Anasi has just one care she wants to share. Anasi hopes her very special friend will stay close to Anasi and never go away. Anasi worries because Anasi looks forward to seeing you so much. But Anasi understands, and Anasi is very busy too. So Anasi is happy when she is busy, and happy when she sees you. And that is enough happiness for anyone. I think Anasi said it best. Sometimes friendship is the most valuable gift you can get. And of course the quest stays open. So we're friends forever. And with that, I do want to say thank you so much for joining us today. I hope that you have a special friend out there. Or that you find somebody like Anasi. Who can uh, tell you to go steal valuables from other people. Okay, so this didn't really work out with the message for today. But uh, yeah, Anasi, friendship like and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Later, guys.